guys, I'm Simon Murray, managing editor of Power of Rodeo. Joined with me with uh, editor in chief Dan Hardy in not so sunny Miami. Now, what's going on with this weather? I think I might be the only guy in uh, the city who didn't bring a uh, rain jacket. That's man, tough luck. <laughs> tough luck. <laughs> but we're here front and center in the Hatteras booth uh, aboard the Cabo 41. It's the newest Cabo in, since the company went dormant uh, since 2013. That's yeah. six years without a Cabo. You know, it's, Unreal, unreal. Yeah, I know. I know the Cabo people were clamoring to see this brand make a return. Absolutely, it's got such a, a rabid following for people that you know, it's known as that West Coast rugged, heavy offshore fish boat. Yep. And, uh, I know a lot of people are coming down to Miami to see it. Excited to give you guys the first peek here. Yeah, let's. Uh, without out. further ado, let's come on board. Out. I think actually, right, right here, just to point out, this is cockpit, really spacious, really clean, huge. We we're just enjoying the raised mezzanine seating. Uh, a lot of room to you know fight fish and looks like plenty of um, plenty of storage space and uh, yeah this is this is what you want to see out of this iconic brand. Yeah you're absolutely right room for the fighting chair. A lot of people always say with, with boats right it's oh it feels much bigger than than its size. But to me this one really really does for 41 foot sport fisherman actually 42 foot it uh, has a lot of a lot of space aboard. A lot of life yeah Starboard, check out the. Uh, we got some great compartments. And then up to the helm, I mean, this is a really modernized, nice looking helm. We went up to the Tuna Tower, which is a nice partnership with uh, Carolina Towers, mm -hmm. the, that uh, Hatteras' partner, which is some of the stuff that you're going to see to modernize this brand, bring it into the you know, the new 21st century. Yeah, no, that's that's a great point. It is amazing to think that this boat and the Cabo brand, it really was, it's been a little while, the mid 90s, I think, when they really re reached their peak of popularity. And uh, they did a nice job from what I can see here of blending past meets present. Just look at, you know, this clean, yeah, super clean, yeah, clean helm and yeah. sight lines you'd expect. Yeah. Nice L-shaped uh, settee. Yeah. For everyone to hang out with the captain. You wanna check out the yeah. combination yeah. double yeah. up? Yeah, absolutely. thing about this boat is uh, there's certainly we've reported pretty thoroughly on the the, in, the outboard market how those boats are getting bigger and bigger and growing in popularity this boat is really poised to, to compete with them and I think what this boat offers is that interior living accommodations and which we're highlighting right now I mean you're you're not a small guy and we have a it's lot right, of standing right. room yeah, yeah. I've been working out uh, I should have been noticing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah a lot of places to uh, a lot of counter space a lot of spaces, space, uh, excuse me, spaces to sit down for the crew and friends. We got a convection burner top right here, and we got a separate shower stall. And even even that uh, that master forward, nice amount of room. I mean, this yeah, you're gonna want to check that this out. This boat's ready for for much more than. Nice another touch is the rod stowage to starboard. Lots of freezers. This is a well appointed boat. Well, I tell you what, it's a busy show as we gear up for the Miami Yacht Show now in its new location. Um, I know we gotta run on. Should we take a quick peek in the engine room? I would love nothing more than to take a look. Oh, and this this is what's amazing. I mean look look at all this space. Watch watch how the entire salon is gonna lift up here. This is something you don't see with any of the rest of the Hatteras line. Slow and steady. Absolutely. So, someone down there? No, can't be. Oh man, what do you know? Our very own executive editor, Jeff Moser. Jeff, you can believe it, Jeff. Jeff, what are you doing in there? Hey guys. Hey, good to see you, man. I rode down from Carolina with these fellas. Uh, Jeff, you're a legend, man. Yeah, that is, you are, what a move. Well, I mean, we're going to take you long enough. These are the Volvo Penta 725 horsepower D11s, and you can see there's plenty of room between the power plants, so I was pretty comfortable. Like, how long have you been down yeah. here, Jeff? Uh, what, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 2019. Oh, six, wait, six years? Is this? 
It's been a while. It's yeah. Cobble's well, back. Thank God. And so, so are you. And so is Jeff. I would like to see that. I get some time. I look at these, you know, impeccable wire runs and really nice layout. You know, things Cobble always known for. Really nice work. And um, the other engines available are Cummins QSM11s at 670 and 750 horsepower, respectively. So, we've got some options out here. These are the biggest okay. that, are, that are available for this boat. Biggest, baddest, and you've obviously familiarized yourself yeah. with it. Right, yeah. I think I'm ready to come out though. No, Jeff, well, you know, want, I was going to say, yeah. We really want your full report in the upcoming oh, issue, so make sure if you need to spend more time in there. Okay, just bring me some water. I'm going to get comfortable. So okay, what well, anything you say, Jeff. We'll see you later. You're so demanding. Later, Jeff. <laughs> All right, nice job, Jeff. Okay, guys. Well, who doesn't love a comeback story? I sure do. Um, for a complete report on the Cabo 41, stay tuned to pmymag.com or check out an upcoming issue of Power Money Out Magazine.